Hey guys, it's operations time. Well, it's kind of uh, semi-operations time. A little bit of operations and a little bit of uh, uh, layout update slash working on the layout here. Um, so I finished running my uh, little GP, uh, what is the GP? SD40-2 up and down all of the newly ballasted track and did a little cleanup here and there on some of the little spots made sure everything was working fine um, if you saw my other video I was having some uh, power problems over back here and it turned out it was like one track two track there was another track a little section here and there I power every single piece of track so every there's no soldering between the joints except for right here between these two i point to the one spot in my layout that i had to solder the joints but that's because uh, i've got power drops coming in between these two uh turnouts so i'm powering right there uh, but otherwise every individual piece of track is wired and we, if we take a look down here you can see uh, i got all kinds of wires right there and i got a bunch of uh suitcase connectors that i've used in the past and I ran out of them and so I kind of started doubling and tripling up some of the uh, drops over here and it just didn't work so I was like screw it so I just soldered them I don't know why I was using suitcase connectors because it's just easy and you don't have to solder you know whatever but uh it just uh, to fix the you know a couple tracks right here a couple spots was no big deal so I just soldered them and uh we're all good to go so uh, what we're going to do is have a little bit of a sort of a mini operations here between operations. Let's call it that. We're going to run our uh, maintenance away train here. Let me get uh, someplace you can actually see it. And uh, we're going to be pulling nails. So now that the uh, now that all the track is uh, glued down, we can go ahead and run all of the uh, nails out of it because uh, everything's all solidified and everything so what we're gonna do is come over here pick up our uh, little flat car and our uh, maintenance away shoving platform that's what I'm gonna call it and of course we're on a curve right there so we're not gonna get a uh, good connection but I'm gonna fudge it there we go and uh, yeah, we're gonna run down Pull some nails. So uh, I think the first thing we're going to do is come down here. Let's see where we're coming down. Yeah, we're coming down this way, down by the pine, pine tree or palm, palm, pine. I can't talk. Palm trees. We'll come down to the uh, forward part of the uh, the layout here because uh, we're going to switch our uh, locomotive around. We're going to get on the. Uh, on the back side of the train so that we have easy access to our gondola. This will be a nice little street scene right here. I can't wait to get uh, working on, uh, you know, actually getting some scenery down over here. But uh, we'll work on uh, a little bit of a, a little bit of a, the layout here. I'll, I won't bore you pulling nails for the whole thing, trust me. But uh, we'll see some little bit of running here and uh, get a good look at uh, what the track looks like and all that. I think I got to do a little bit of vacuuming right over there. I can hear the uh, tires still kind of crunching, uh, crunching a couple of pieces of gravel there from the uh, ballasting cleaning. Oh boy, actually right there is good. That's good right there. All right, we'll go ahead and uh, swap that over. Now, a couple of turnouts are still a little, eh, let's call them, uh, kind of not sticky, but you know, they got to work themselves in. So uh, they work fine but they don't have that real positive snap. They're kind of like there's a little bit of glue down there still somewhere sticking, but uh, for the most part, I think it was only like one or two, and that one was one of them where it didn't have that uh, solid snap to it. Um, but uh, like I said, it works fine. It's just a matter of uh, giving it a little bit of time and letting it work itself out. Come in there. There we go. 
Right, we'll get this connected. We'll do a run around over here and uh, I'll let everybody freak out as we run right by the edge, huh? I know how people love uh, love uh, seeing that. It's like, you know, you, you model railroad, or I, sh I should say us model railroad guys. We get triggered by a lot of things, don't we? Suitcase connectors. I'm sure that triggered a few of you. Uh, cleaning the track with a sanding block. That triggered a whole bunch of other guys. And just for good measure, make sure we got everybody. We're going to trigger everybody by running the locomotive over here. Right along the edge of the layout. Hey guys, I, I got my own little beef stew, so don't worry. I'm just uh, I'm just I'm just funning you a little bit here. But uh, yeah, so I love running my train right along the edge over here. I mean, it's a little tight. I think this is the uh, this is the closest to the edge on uh, any part of the layout. But it just it kind of worked out that way. You can go back and watch the videos when I was laying the track and all that stuff. Watching some operations over there on uh, on YouTube too while we're well operating. We're gonna run up over here. Ooh, I forgot there's a street here. Anyway, we'll uh, we'll get that one switched over. We'll come around the back side, and we can grab our little uh, nail puller. Do a little nail pulling, and uh, this will be the. Uh, sort of intermediate operations video. Now, uh, you know, after doing ballasting like this and all that, uh, you know, clean up and everything like that, there's always a few spots, you know. I think I got them all, but, uh, you know, that might give you a little bit of trouble. But uh, like I said, I'm pretty sure I caught them all. But you'd be surprised, even to this day in the yard, um, especially since all of my locomotives run with uh, current keepers. Um, so you might have a little little bit of dirty track or something like that. And you, you just don't know it because uh, the current keeper just keeps the locomotive going. But uh, yeah, even to this day, I still swear I, I find like a half inch section of track that has got glue on it in my yard. And I swear I've gone over the every single little tiny inch of track over there yet I'm still finding little spots like that so I guess it'd be a good idea to take a locomotive that doesn't have a current keeper and just run it and do the testing if you got one no I just happen to well let me think hmm, no I don't have one every single one of my locomotives has a keep alive or a current keeper Right, let's see here. Now, I think we're ready to start our little uh, operations here. Now, remember, these two little tracks right here up to the street, those are the first section I did way back when, so we already pulled the nails for that. But there's a nail right there, and so that's where we're going to be starting. So let me, uh, let me pull up here just a little bit. Brakes off. Alrighty, we get to watch uh, the washer and dryer view. I'm gonna swing a coffee here. All right. So here's what I like to do. Make sure you can see that. Uh, yep, right there. Okay, so I basically just run the train up and down. I be careful, don't short the thing out. Um, and pull all the nails out. Helps if you can see, so I gotta get the right glasses on going here in my head. There we go, got that, got that. Kinda just go all the way down the line, pull all these guys out that you can see as we're going. Man, this is fun, all right. We'll go right to there. Ooh, wrong one. No, not that one. Boy, fascinating how I, I can't figure out what buttons they are when I'm not holding the remote. All right, there we go. 
We'll back it up over here. And over right there. We'll go all the way to the end of the other street there. That way it's easy to uh, keep track of. All right, right there is good. Well, anyway, that's kind of how I do it. How do you guys do it? I'm going to come over here. I'm going to keep on going and uh, emptying, or not emptying, pulling all these, uh, pulling all these nails. And we'll come down here too. We'll do the uh, little run up through the uh, grassy area. I don't know if that's what it's going to be called here, this little uh, cut over. Come on. Well, anyway, that's thrilling now, isn't it? Okay, so I'm going to keep on working. I'm going to work uh, all the way down to the end over here, and then I'm going to come back around uh, over to the, uh, I guess, uh, what do you got, the backboard side, and uh, do everything over there. So, a little bit of a mini operations over here. Don't worry, we'll do some proper operations here at, uh, at the end of the week. So, I hope you enjoyed the video there. Don't forget to hit the thumbs up button, all that. You know, subscribe if you're not subscribed, blah, blah, blah. Anyway, uh, see you guys next time.